Hi there, this is Rick Andrews with Century 21 Scenic Realty and I appreciate you watching. Today we're going to be discussing the local real estate market through the end of September 2015. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, please click on the appropriate link. Well, let's look at the residential market first in Towns County. That's Hawassi and Young Harris, Georgia. We're up in transactions with 29 sales over and above last year's sales. However, we're down in the average sold price by about $3,000. In Union County, which has done very well, they're both up in transactions over a year ago, and they're actually up in average sold price over a year ago. Uh, so thus far Union County has been the place to be this year. In Clay County, North Carolina, transactions are up but the average price is down thus far through the end of September. Now what do these numbers mean whether you're looking to buy or sell a home here in the Blue Ridge Mountains? If you're looking to sell we still have a massive inventory of homes to get through. We have over 1,100 homes in our three county area here to sell. I mean, that's a large inventory. So there's a lot of competition. To get your home sold right now, you have to be competitively priced to sell. There's just too much competition out there. Um, if you're looking to buy, the good news is it's still a buyer's market. There's over 1,100 homes on the market, plenty to choose from. Uh, and folks are going to have to get aggressive on their pricing if they want to compete. Uh, that's the good news. Uh, the bad news, if you're looking to buy, is there aren't any steals on the market. There's some great deals, but the steals are gone. We just don't have foreclosures anymore. And that pretty much sums up the residential sales thus far this year in 2015. Now let's take a look at the land and the vacant lot market. It's not good. Uh, overall, the market continues to be down. In Towns County, Georgia, the number of transactions are down from a year ago, and the average sold price is down from a year ago. In Union County, Georgia, we're down a few, just a few transactions, five transactions from a year ago. Fortunately, though, we are up in average price sold. The winner thus far this year is Clay County, North Carolina. They are up in both transactions sold over a year ago, and they are up in average price sold by about $2,500 over a year ago. So Clay County, North Carolina is up in both transactions and average sold price, but simply not true on the Georgia side of the line. For my buyers out there, it's still an awesome market. There are still a ton of steals, S-T-E-A-L-S, still a ton of steals on the market. If you're considering building a home to retire down the road or uh, if you're looking for investment, we're still a great area. Prices are still substantially down, somewhat depressed in our area when it comes to vacant lots. Uh, if you're looking to sell, I know that's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. We have over 1,200 vacant lots on the market. It's 1,200 vacant lots in this very small rural area that we've got to get through. So uh, I wish I had better news for you for those folks trying to sell vacant lots, but the good news is overall the residential market is up from a year ago. We are slowly creeping up and as the homes sell off, folks will start buying raw land and building again. Well, folks, I appreciate you watching and that's a uh, market update through the end of September 2015. As always, if you have any questions, please give me a call. Rick Andrews, Century 21 Scenic Realty. Thank you.